I think I kind of uh, mentioned that when I spoke earlier. When you look at the product, I mean, when you look at what type of product you're building, you need to understand why you're building it, right? I mean, are you building it to uh, shift a technology or, or a process gap or disruptive? You have to understand that because without understanding that, what you're doing with that product, it's difficult to understand what aspects you want to do. For example, let's take uh, you want to build a product that's uh, shifting, um, you know, uh, technology. So you need to understand not whether or not you're shifting the technology, how many of the customers in the value chain are shifting, who are going to buy your product, right? Are they willing to shift? What is the cost associated with it? What's the risk associated with it? Um, what does it come with? You know, is it comes with a lot more maintenance or does it reduce the maintenance? I mean, you need to look at all those aspects. The market where you're trying to come up with a new idea, a new innovation, then you need a lot more richer, uh, you know, knowledge sharing and educational. And you need to be able to shift the people thinking from what they're doing versus what they should be doing in the future. Uh, the examples like, you know, like I said, Airbnb or Uber or Google, I mean, they educate their customers so much to, because they're shifting the way you think. When you want to go to a place and rent a car, now your whole shift has happened for you. And how does a shift happen? I mean, you, there's a lot of riskiness involved in it, right? You don't know who the driver is. You don't know who the company is. So how do you manage that? So a lot of education around it is key. So it all depends on what you're trying to do, and there's no one generic answer. And, and, then, and then understanding the customer behavior and building aspects around it.